Hi guys, in this video we will be learning how to create a color-coded apartment layout in Revit and how to use it in Illustrator, so let's get started. So in order to get started, I'm gonna insert an image that I've downloaded to use it as a reference and I can just scale down the image and pin it and put it on the side and I can start modeling my walls so I will create my external walls so this wall is a bit too big so I'm just gonna duplicate this wall and make a smaller wall which is like 200 millimeter and I will change the size from here and once I have that I will create the external walls I will make them 10 meters by 10 meters And once I'm done with that, I will create the same and duplicate this wall and make internal walls so um, with 100 th thickness. And change the thickness from there and apply. And I will start doing my internal walls. So this is the first room. And just copy these paste it here and I'll create the same to create the other room and I think this room has a walk-in wardrobe so I'll give that room that and there's like a There's a storage kind of thing here. And I close it here. And I'll create the bathroom on this side. I'm just going to copy this wall to the other side and this becomes my kitchen and we have open space for the living and dining and I'll start inserting my walls just tap on your space on your keyboard to change the um, And I will place, I will create a boundary here because it doesn't have any rooms. And then I can just insert my rooms on this, on all of them. And I can just change this one to name and metric area instead, and I'll start changing the room names by just clicking on it and typing the room name this is my living and dining once i do that i can change the color of my walls by typing bv on my keyboard I will get my visibility graphic um, and I can just change the walls cut pattern to a solid and I will change the colors to black and here we have it and now I notice that we don't have any windows so I'll start placing my windows This is too small, so I'm going to place a smaller window on this side. And we have our apartment now, so I will start uh, applying or using the color scheme that we have. So now it's set as none. I will change it to rooms and by number or name, it doesn't really matter. 
I'm gonna try to change the colors as well because the colors at the moment look similar so I will change them a bit to differentiate them and apply as so I have the colors you can notice that nothing or no color was applied to the closet you can either delete them or Or alternatively, I can just add a room there and call it closet. Just gonna call it C for shortcut. I'll do the same here. And once I'm happy with everything on my apartment. Just start exporting the file as a PDF. When you export the file, just make sure you change it to visible parts of current window. And just make sure it's Victor. Because the Victor means that you can like control the lines in Illustrator. And I will try to save it in my documents. Oh, so we have to select the page size, so I will just set it as an A4 page. And once I'm happy with everything, I can just start exporting. So this is the this is Illustrator. I'm just going to start a new project and make it landscape and change the unit system to millimeters. And I can start importing the file that I just exported. Can't seem to find the file here, so I'm just gonna export it again. I'll save it in a different location this time. And I can just import it now. Here is my file. Import. So when you import from Revit to Illustrator, everything becomes as a group. And when it comes as a group, you can start ungrouping them to control them easier. And you can also get the border around the building and delete all the unnecessary things you might have, just such as this drawing. And I can ungroup them now and you can see each object is controlled differently now. I can just make it bigger. So now I will try to organize each element in different layers so if i select on the text and then select on select all same and font family it selects all my text and i can just move it to another layer and i can call that layer text and i can just lock my layer and you can see if i hide and hide the layer it is all in there another thing i can try is put all these colors in a different layer as well so select them all and i will just call the layer colors and lock it and lastly we're left with this layer i can select these and put it in a different layer as well so uh, all the walls would be in a different layer
you can see it's all selected at once and I can just put it in a different layer and I call the layers the layer walls and now when you want to like control them you can control everything individually so I just change the color of the walls you can play around with them and you can even change the internal colors or the text type so I'm just going to return it back as it is but yeah this is how you can simply create plan um, full plan layout and export it to Illustrator